Hey everyone, it's Coaster Daddy here again with another review, this time of Gatekeeper at Cedar Point, the B&M wing coaster that opened in 2013. Gatekeeper opened along with a huge renovation of the front entrance of Cedar Point. I went to Cedar Point in 2018 for the first time in seven years. And upon seeing that entrance for the first time, I mean, what they've done with it is absolutely astounding. Gatekeeper is a great addition for the front of the park. It's absolutely beautiful. And um, I, I really can't say enough about how great it looks and what they've done with that area in general. You know, they got rid of that big blocky looking building that was disaster transport and the space spiral, which is, you know, that's kind of sad, but uh, they've greatly improved this area overall as they've done with a lot of areas of Cedar Point. But anyway, onto the ride. Gatekeeper is a very long wing coaster, 4,164 feet in length. I believe it's actually the longest wing coaster, if I'm not mistaken. Gatekeeper stands at a height of 170 feet, has a drop of 164 feet, a speed of 67 miles per hour, and has six inversions. So this ride has a lot to it. Starting off the ride, you turn into this first inversion here, which is the dive drop. And then you head up directly into this Immelman which is really fun. You get some interesting forces. Go over this airtime hill. I've gotten some pretty good airtime some rides on this. I'll get more to that later. Go into this huge corkscrew. And then, here it is, the, the keyhole elements, the standout section of this ride in many people's eyes. Go through a incline dive loop, another zero G roll through the keyhole element again. And then this is where you slide up into the mid-course brake run. And then you go down a little dip there, kind of meander through a helix, and just kind of glide over a small airtime hill, which sometimes you get a little bit of airtime there, and then you hit the brakes. So one thing to note right off the bat, Gatekeeper has a pretty underwhelming finale, I gotta say. Once you hit that mid-course brake, which is pretty close to the end of the ride anyway. The ride experience itself is pretty much over. The helix and the little airtime hill pretty much just like filler elements. Not much to them really. But what do I think of Gatekeeper? Personally, I'm a huge fan of Gatekeeper. And I know that this is probably going to be somewhat of a controversial statement. I believe that when Gatekeeper is running at its absolute best. Not just its typical rides, but when you get a perfect ride on Gatekeeper, and I've got some really awesome rides on Gatekeeper, I think it's better than Raptor. Now overall, I still consider Raptor to be the better coaster, but Gatekeeper is a really fun ride in any case. And I think it is actually a lot more intense than people claim it to be. Many people point to Gatekeeper as being, you know, forceless and not much to it, which I, I highly disagree. I'm definitely a huge fan of the two wing coasters that I've ridden so far. Uh, the other one being Thunderbird, which is better than Gatekeeper. Most people consider Thunderbird to be the best wing coaster. But I'm a really huge fan of Gatekeeper and really can't say enough about how much I enjoy the ride. I think the left side is definitely quite a bit more intense than the right side generally for some reason. And I've heard a lot of people point to the left side of wing coasters as being better. I can definitely attest to that with Gatekeeper. It seems like there's just a lot more force when you sit on the left side and it's just a more interesting ride experience overall. There's a lot of huge elements to this. It's the big thing that you see right as you're walking into the front gate and it, it gets you going, it gets you pumped for the day. You're walking into Cedar Point. You see this beautiful twisted blue track everywhere. Again, I, I do not consider Gatekeeper to be a forceless ride. I do believe it has some good force to it, especially if you're able to get a trimless ride on it. On opening weekend, I got several trimless rides on Gatekeeper and it was absolutely phenomenal. 
when those trims are not on. It's just an absolutely great ride experience. And I was actually getting airtime, like a, a decent small pop of floater airtime on that big airtime hill as well. And even the, a tiny bit on the small bunny hop right before the final breaks. I'm going to rate Gatekeeper a solid 8 out of 10. This is the type of ride that I just think is really overlooked by a lot of enthusiasts. I think it's a great ride. A lot of people seem to enjoy it. It's not too intense, but that being said, I've got some surprisingly intense rides on this thing. Especially sitting on the left side, going down that first dive drop, and then into the Immelman. You get some pretty good positive Gs. On those sections and then going through the keyhole elements there's this really interesting combination of forces where you kind of you're getting hang time but you also get laterals it's just a really great sensation honestly you just kind of slowly roll through it it's a really fun experience really smooth ride and i highly recommend it so be sure to check it out if you go to cedar point if you've ridden it, what do you think of Gatekeeper? Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and also like Coaster Daddy on Facebook. Follow me on Instagram, and I will see you guys all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.